In part one of this series, we covered the most common operating principles that microphones use to convert sound into an electrical signal. In this segment, we'll discuss frequency response. The sound of a microphone is illustrated by its frequency response curve. The frequency response defines the range of sound that the mic can reproduce and how sensitive it is within that range. A microphone with flat response is equally sensitive to all frequencies, so it reproduces voices and instruments with little or no coloration or variation from the original sound. Flat response mics are a good choice for miking acoustic instruments, vocal groups, and orchestras. A microphone with shaped response is more sensitive to some frequency ranges than others. A mic with increased sensitivity in the upper mid-range adds clarity to vocals and also works well on instruments like guitar amplifiers or drums. A mic with decreased sensitivity to low frequencies reduces pickup of room noise and vibration and counteracts the buildup of bass that can occur when the mic is used very close to the source, which is called proximity effect. The choice of frequency response for miking a particular voice or instrument is very subjective. In general, however, microphones with shaped response work better than flat response mics for vocals. Here's how a vocal sounds on a Shure SM81, which has a very flat frequency response. For I'll be here in sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. Here's the same vocal recorded with a Shure KSM-42, which has a shaped response. For I'll be here in sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. Some microphones allow the frequency response to be adjusted to match different sound sources or recording conditions. The most common is a low-frequency roll-off control. In the flat position, the mic picks up low frequencies normally. In the roll-off position, the mic's sensitivity to low-frequency sound is reduced. By understanding microphone characteristics like frequency response, you'll be able to choose the best mic for any application and get better results when recording or using a sound system. In part three of this series, we'll explain microphone polar patterns.